Think back to when you were an undergraduate student and you had to write an essay. You'd get a few books, a few articles, and you were done. As a graduate student, there's much higher expectations. You need to find substantially more journal articles, books, and other scholarly sources. Ryerson Library contains research level books, but also specialized databases with millions of journal articles in your field of study. But the library also has specialized in archival collections, data and statistics, and dissertations from Ryerson alumni. Plus, you can access even more resources from outside the Ryerson Library by borrowing from universities all across Canada. When you start to search for resources, it's important to remember that searching is a back and forth process with many false starts. You might search for 20 more articles before you can find something that you can actually use. When it comes to searching, remember that you're in it for the long haul, so be sure to budget for many days and hours of searching. If you're feeling frustrated, you can always seek out help from a subject librarian. The next thing to remember is that graduate students often struggle with setting limitations to their research. There's always more sources that can be found, and it's very easy to get stuck at this stage. It's important to consider setting boundaries to your research. Try considering the following questions to define the scope of your research. What is its geographical location? What is the theoretical framework guiding your work? What conceptual framework are you relying on in approaching your topic? What are the main schools of thought that will be at the core of your research? Who are the main theorists that you'll be relying on? And what are the main research questions that will be driving your research and data collection? After you've defined the scope of your topic, you're now ready to start selecting the best sources. In order to help narrow down your search for sources, consider the following questions. What kind of literature will you be looking for? What kind of textual evidence will be most effective given your scope and framework? What is the role of literature in your work? What is its purpose? What is it meant to do in your writing? How will you decide when the literature has served its purpose and its goals have been accomplished? How many sources are enough? How will you decide when it's time to stop collecting new sources? For help with searching and selecting your sources, please check out our worksheets online and join us for the next video in the series.